Hi folks, I have decided I'm going to learn to fly. When I was a young boy, I dreamed that I could fly. Through the air with arms stretched wide, I'd soar across the sky. But years have passed and now at last I've found my CFI. He's my smart younger brother and he's teaching me to fly. Okay. All right. Ready to taxi? Ready. All right. Here we go. Stick back. Yep. Okay. Uh, this morning, let's just continue working on our uh, flight controls. Okay. And uh, getting the turns. We're going to do some climbing and descending terms, turns. And uh, try to be a little bit more precise and entering the turn and coming out of it. And we'll uh, maybe we'll go over the field there and do a rectangular pattern and fly around, uh, turn around a point, that kind of thing. Okay. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and rob the engine. Okay. All right, there's 4,000 left, drops down to 3780. And the right stays there at 3780. And we go back to both, and we're back to 4,030, all right. So they drop about 200. Okay, all right, let's check our uh, check our ailerons. They go up this way, and that elevator goes up, goes up this way, and the rudder goes up. All right, you got your seatbelt on? Seatbelt on and tight. Got eyeglass protection? Uh, you're Roger. All right, you ready for takeoff? Ready for takeoff. Are you gonna just follow me through? I'm gonna follow you through. Okay, we're just gonna give it full throttle, keep it center, and keep the stick back. When we come up, when we come up a little bit, I'll let the stick forward like that, just a little bit. Okay. And we'll get to our airspeed and climb one out. All right. I think you'll see a lot more lift today with the, with the cool air. All right, ready? Ready. Here we go. Okay, we're rolling. There's 40 and we're 50, 55, 60. I pull the stick back. Wow. Climbing out at uh, climbing out at just over 50. Yeah, all kinds of lift. Ah, I got warmer. Feel it? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, you mind rolling the windows up? Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> You got a lot of air back there? Yeah, a little bit. We can put the, the the doors on it if you want. Yeah, I thought about that, but it was uh, running a little late this morning. All right, I'm going to pull the throttle back just a little bit. I don't like to run it at full throttle for more than uh, a couple of minutes. Okay. All right, let me get us to 1,000 feet, and I'm going to turn it over to you. All right, your airplane. Okay. Let's go over to this field over here. We'll just do a little rectangular pattern. Okay. Uh, very nice, 55 miles an hour, 1,000 feet. Right rudder. Right rudder there. Right. There you go. See, right. see, the sting, see the spring come right back up when you do that? Yeah, but, I was turning too far though. Yeah, let's go over this way. Yeah. Can you see the, the instruments a little better? Uh, if I lean over, I can, yeah. All 
Alright, very good. We'll go right straight down. This, okay. ro this road we're over top of and make a left turn. We'll make a big rectangular pattern there, trying to stay right over top. Okay. I'll try. We do have a headwind. We're going at 53 airspeed and we're going at 43 uh, ground speed. We're almost dead into the wind, I think, here. Okay. There's your wings level, that's good. A clear morning, huh? Yeah, beautiful, huh? Okay, turning. All right. bit of breeze it feels like here. Yeah, yeah, we're being blown this way. Yeah, that's why I, I turned a little early there. That's all right. Just get a good feel for keeping, keeping the airspeed and keeping your altitude. Yeah, so I'm trying to do that, but... I'd like, you to, I'd like you to get the string a little bit more back up towards here. Yeah, and I got to figure out how to do that, whether it's aileron or rudder. Rudder will get you there, and then yeah. go, go like that, and that'll get you there. Just like that, okay? I see, okay. See, we're really crabbing. We're, we're flying yeah, like this. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, they were starting to go a little bit more into the wind here, though, so we're not getting as much push. But if I push that over more like that, see, then we're going right. But you can turn like this with the, with the air on. Ah, okay. I got you. Okay. Might feel, see, it might feel like you're off a little bit, but that's actually going straight into the wind. Yeah. This is your truest test of if you're going straight into the relative wind coming at you. Right. We're going to go down this way, I forgot. Right, let's go right down over here. Yeah. You know, you're going to pick up speed pretty quickly here. Now, see, we're now going uh, almost 70 miles, you're going 70 miles an hour this way. Okay. And then turn and go this way down here. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. And now you're being blown this way, right? Right, yeah, that's right. So we need a crab like that. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's turn up this road here. We're going to do a little different exercise here. Okay. All right, my airplane for just a second. Yep. You're consistently keeping the, the, uh, yeah. the thread over here. And what I want, want you to do is to keep it over here like this, something like this. Okay. So how we're going to do it is I this. want you to take your hands off the control sticks and I want you to just use the rudders. You just use the rudders, okay? Okay. With just the rudders, keeping it right in the center. Don't okay. worry about how the ang angle will play it. Okay. That's real good. Now it might feel like the plane's a little bit tilted to the left, but you've got the string right in the center. All right, now I'm going to make a left turn. You just work on the rudders. Okay. Just work on the rudders and keep that thing right in the center. There you go. There you go. Look at that. All right, I'm going to come out of the turn. Just keep it right in the center. All right, see, that's right in the center. You just keep it right in the center no matter what I do, okay? Okay. There you go. There you go. There you go, you got it. Okay, your airplane flying a little bit. Just right towards that uh, cement plant over there. Right rudder, right rudder. There you go. A little bit more right rudder. A little bit more here. There you go. See, you're coming around. All right. Now straighten it out. Left rudder. Oh, I'm sorry, right rudder. All right, my airplane. I got it. Okay. Yeah, kind of. Okay, what I'd like you to do 
is just use the stick. Let me have the rudders. You take the stick. Okay. And keep it right in the center there. Okay. Okay. That's it. That's it. Okay, so it just takes a very slight amount of adjustment to get get this going where you want it. Right. right. Okay. All right, now we're going to make a left turn. You just handle the stick. I've got the rudders. I'm going to push on the left rudder. There you go. You uh, see how it brings it yep, around? Yep. Yeah, I see it now. All right, I'm going to come out of the turn. I'm going to give it a little right rudder. Okay. There you go. All right, we're going to turn to the right. Okay. All right, you take over the plane. Let's go around this the, uh, big square in the opposite direction this time. Your airplane. Now let's see if I can make these coordinated turns a little more efficient. There you go. That's... That's a nice, perfectly coordinated turn right there. All right, throw it up here. That's all right. Just get, you just keep doing it over and over, and you get the feel for it. Yeah, doing fine. Just go ahead and play with it till you know you you feel good and it becomes natural. Takes a little while. All right, the uh, highway 41 right here. Yes. Let's go and fly right down highway 41 right up here to Ellisville. That's perfect there. Yes, nice coordinated flight. Yeah, what we want, really want to do is keep our wings level as much as we can. Yeah. And then adjust this with the rudder. All right, my airplane, I've got it. Okay. Take a little break. Yeah. What a beautiful morning. It is a beautiful morning. I think you can probably see for 50 miles. Yeah. Great. Go I-75 down there. Yep. Okay, I'm right over top of Highway 41 there. Okay. The wings are level, right? Yep. And the string's right in the center. Okay. And now you don't want me to screw it up, right? Well, I just want you to see what I'm doing here. Yep. And it's okay. I mean, it's okay to fly like this, but it's not as efficient. And if you get in the habit of flying like this, you know, it's not good. We, we, what the habit we want to be is is having the, the, the plane as efficient and proper as we can, okay? Gotcha. So that's, so that's why I'm kind of hammering on this, all right? Okay, your airplane, see if you can uh, keep it right there and fly right down 41. Okay. And if you get tired or fatigued or whatever, that's fine. We'll just take a little break. Okay. Lake City Air Park, Yellow Highway, 125 Whiskey Delta is uh, one mile south. We'll do a uh, across at midfield and enter a left down right for runway five, Lake City Air Park. Okay, I tell you what we're gonna do. You see the airport down there? Uh, yeah. We're going to cross at midfield, and then we're going to make a left turn and go down, downwind, make a base turn, and finally we'll land coming in this way, okay? But you're going to cross like a, a 90 degree, right? Yeah, you go across there and get out a good ways, and then we'll make a big pattern and come in and land right down the runway this way. Okay. <laughs> All right, we're up at uh, almost 1,500 feet. We need to start coming down a little bit. Lake City Air Park, uh, Yellow Highway, 125 Whiskey Delta crossing at midfield to enter a left down run for only five, Lake City Air Park. All right, you're still running at 5,300 RPM. You want to start, there you go. Now feel the nose come up when you did that? Yep. All right, let's, let's go over here like this. Okay. All right. 
Yeah. You got you got your 55 mile an hour airspeed. That's good. Okay. But you're bleeding off your airspeed, so you want to shove that stick forward a little bit. There you go. That's it. And gradually make a little turn here to the left. Okay. And we'll be going downwind. There you go. That's real nice. Make a big extended pattern here. Okay. Are we straightened it out here or? Yeah, quite yes, go straight. Go, go straight. Okay. That's why I want you, every once in a while, you want to turn your head and look over. See, there's the right there. Okay. Now, there is a tower somewhere around here. We're yeah, still I above it. It's right over there, so we just want to miss that tower. Okay, anytime you want to make your base turn here. Okay. Let's see here, Park, Yellow Highway, uh, 125 Whiskey Delta is making a uh, base turn to the left for runway 5, Lake City Airport. Okay, and you straighten it out just a little bit here, and you have a nice straight little base turn. Alright, and then you go ahead and turn for final. Okay. There you go. Very good, you're at 55 miles an hour, a little high, so pull back a little bit more on the throttle. And I want to keep it centered on the runway. And we can pull the throttle really almost all the way back now. I'm going to pull it back for you. All right, I've got the airplane. I want you to just stay with me, okay? Yep. So we're at right at 55 miles an hour. We're coming down at about 500 feet a minute. Okay. We're going to try to stay right in the center of the runway. And we're at uh, 75 feet, 50 feet. Right about here, I'm going to start pulling back slowly. Yep. Very slowly. Very slowly. Very slowly. And touch down. Wow, nice. Uh, a little fast. Okay, your airplane, once you taxi us back down there. There you go. Right, right there, straight. Yep, that's good. Stick back. Yep. Okay, full throttle and take off. Okay. Straight down the runway. Stick back. All right, pull the stick back a little bit till you're going to 55. Okay. Very good. Nice takeoff. Yeah, good assist. A little bit. Just a little bit. All right, let's climb up to 1,000 feet and we'll make a big pattern here, okay? Okay. All right, when I get to about this point, I'm going to pull the throttle back just a little bit because I don't want to run the engine full throttle for too long. Right. So there, now we're about 6,100 RPM. We're still climbing at 500 feet a minute. Okay. Okay, I'd like you to level off at 1,000 feet. Okay. Bring the throttle back here a little bit. Yep. Very good. Oh, is that your field right up here on the right? Right there. Oh, okay, yeah. We'll do a low approach. Yeah, got it. Since the wind's coming from the north, we can land really either direction. Yep. We hit some thermals as we started our final for landing. I got the throttle almost all the way back, and I got the stick way down. We're up at 75 miles an hour through the air. Oh, well. I'm just going to put my hands on the controls just so I'm following through with you. And sure. All right, there, we're almost lined up with the runway there. Yep. It's uh, ten, 9 o'clock, and you can start to feel the wind starting to, to bang us around here a little bit. Yep. Close to the ground. Not bad, but you can feel it. We're a little fast and we're a little high. If I can get the plane down. We'll bleed off speed really quickly. Yeah. I hope. I don't what a, what a great flight. Thank you so much. Oh yeah. We're, see, that's uh, an hour and a quarter we were in the air, so that was a, that's a pretty long flight really. Yeah. 
Okay, thanks, Bill. That was fantastic. You're welcome. Now, if I can get my flight instructor to fill out my logbook, I'll have a certification of my first official lesson. All right, all pilots uh, in training, uh, student pilots, need to enter uh, the logbooks. And when an instructor gives them lessons, uh, they need to, the instructor has to sign the logbook and showing the various uh, maneuvers and procedures you've gone through uh, and received dual flight instruction on. You have to have so many hours to qualify for a sports pilot certificate or a private pilot certificate or whatever certificate you're going for. And your logbook is what shows that you have that. And right now you're just signing it because I have filled it all out ahead of time, right? And so we're... Yeah, he's a good student. He's uh, filled out all the things that he should have filled out. I filled it out in the air while I was... That's why I was missing all those coordinated turns. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't. And as always, I appreciate your comments. So please, join me on my next adventure. Until then, take care.